Okay, guys, we're directly on the table today. We're going to go about this pretty quickly. So for this assignment, what, you, what you're going to need is a pencil, a ruler, and I don't know, pencil sharpener or something. Now, obviously, your pencil can't be super dull. You need to have it at least a little bit sharpened. Now, what you're going to do once you get it sharpened and you're ready to go, and this broke, I'm probably going to switch pencils, but what you're going to do is you're going to measure one inch by eight inches. Once you have it one inch by eight inches, you are going to mark it at every inch going all the way across. So I'm going to go ahead and go and do that right now. One inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six inch, seven inch. And you're going to just go ahead and square those off. You can use freehand or you can use the ruler. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. But you're going to set it up so you have a, the darkest area and the lightest. The first one you're going to do is a simple value gradient. So blending. So it should be a smooth transition from dark to light. You're going to go ahead and repeat this. You're going to go uh, go ahead and repeat this now. Going for, So you're going to have blending and then hatching, stippling, cross hatching, and one last one for your own design. Now at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to start filling in these squares one at a time, starting with the darkest and filling it in completely. Once you have filled it in, you're going to move to the next lightest. So when you're doing the darkest ones, you want to push as hard as you can without breaking your pencil to get it super dark inside that space. Next, you're going to relax your hand just a little bit so that it comes out just a little bit lighter in the next square. Then you're going to relax it just a little bit more. A little bit more. So you're pressing less and less on your paper. until you're just barely, barely touching the paper at all. By the time you reach this one, this one should remain empty. Now, for the bottom half of this one, I want you to just go ahead and rub your finger back and forth across the base of the picture, going all the way into that last square. And what that's going to do is it's going to create that gradient, but it's going to create it a little bit more smoothly. The oils on your finger and the texture of your finger are going to help to blend those lines out and make it nice and smooth. But remember, I only want it to be on the bottom half of this row. The next one, you're going to be doing hatching. Now for hatching, you want your lines to all be going the same direction. So you want to keep filling up that space. So you want it to be completely filled as much as possible with lines going the same direction. Now I'm not going to go all the way across this time because I want you to be able to see. But what you're going to do, you're going to go just a little bit less and fewer, fewer fewer and just barely touching the paper this time fewer pressing lot lighter and lighter and foot putting fewer and fewer lines in those spaces for stippling you're doing the same thing but with dots so you're just going to fill in the space as much as you can and i don't want you pounding like this that's going to take you forever you want to literally just put the little dots into the space. This one's going to take you a long time. It's probably going to take you most of the class period to get this section done all the way across, but I expect you to go ahead and get that done. Again, as you're going across, you want the most and the least amount of lines. You're going to do the same thing for cross hatching, but with cross hatching, 
you're going to do it in multiple directions. And you can do it as many different directions as you want. You can do up and down, side to side, however many times you need to go over those lines in order to make it super dark. And then you're going to do just a few less lines. few less lines, a few less lines all the way across, all the way across. This is going to take you most of the class period to get done for today. If you complete this, what I want you to do is the next step. So for the last one, for the last one down here, you are going to create your own. So either you could do stars, or hearts, or whatever sorts of things you want to fill this space with all the way across. The point is I still want to see going from dark to light all the way across the page. Now, once you have completed this, you are going to be taking a picture of it like uh, so that you can see the entire thing. So if you're, if you're having difficulty getting the entire thing on there, turn it sideways. I can still read it sideways. It's not a big deal. You're going to take a picture of it so I can see the entire thing once it is full. This is part of your grade. So you need to make sure you're doing the entire thing for today's class. If you have any questions, please reach out.